Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Carbon Owl and welcome back to another video. Today we're kicking off our tips and tricks videos. Um, and this is actually the second one in a in our set. We have a few things that we want to go over. Uh, today specifically we're going to be going over how to get started, what to do in the first one to one to three hours of your of your of your gameplay as a beginner. Um, and one of the first things that you need to do is to actually build a house or build a little hut for yourself. So what you want to do when you have a little bit of wood is to first make yourself a nice little crafting bench here. Put that down. And next thing is that I would do is definitely just try and get a good wooden sword for yourself. So if you click, um, you can see that there are attributes for each each weapon that you craft. And this one is a savage wooden sword. That's pretty good, I would say. Um, you might not get savage right away, but I think I've gotten pretty lucky there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is start to build up your little hut. So what you can do is just start placing wood around here. You can left click, hold, and just create a small hut like that. There we go. And now what we want to do is we want to be able to get out of this house. So we need to craft some doors. So we can craft a couple of doors. And to be able to place the doors, we actually need to break some of this off. There we go. And put down these doors. All right, now we almost have a house. As you can see in the background, there's nothing there. Um, and that will actually allow mobs to spawn. So what you wanna do is craft these wood walls. Um, and you can craft a few of them here. And what they do is you can create a nice backdrop for your house, make it nice and cozy in there. Um, and just, whoa, all right. So that is something that you're, you're probably gonna see is uh, or see happen is you're gonna be uh, you're gonna make some of those wood walls go outside of the walls that you have um, and we'll get to that right away but first things first so we're gonna grab some torches uh, just to light up our house so we can put one over here and one over there all right so now we have got that now going back to that wall what we want to do is build a wooden hammer so this hammer is the only thing that will allow you to get rid of of this wall here so if you go to the wooden hammer you can click on the on the walls and it'll create that um, the one other tip that I would give uh, to anybody making a house is to put a small wooden uh, piece of wood right there and right there on the other side now what this does is it'll it makes it so that mobs can not actually jump on they'll actually go to your door and then won't be able to jump onto the top so there you go we have our very first house so after you have built your very first house, what is the next thing? Well, um, there's actually NPCs in this game that you that are going to be, you know, with you for your adventure. And one of them is is this NPC right here. His name is Colin, and Colin is your guide. Now, as as the main uh, as as the main character in in this game, what you want to do is to create some housing for your NPCs. Now, this is a house, but it's not um, it's not actually you know assigned to him. And the only way, if you click here and you click assign, it says the house is missing a chair. So what we need to do is craft a chair that we can put in this room to be able to uh, make to call this a house. So now what you can do is you can see if this housing is suitable. So what we can do is we can assign this house to Colin. So there you go. It says reserved for Colin the guide. So now Colin owns this house and you can use it too, but Colin can use this house as well. And what you want to try and do is to build a couple of these houses, a couple of these uh, nice little sheds for, uh, for your NPCs. And there are a few NPCs that you need to worry about right off the bat. So those are the guide, which we already have a house for, the nurse, the merchant, and uh, possibly a demolitionist. Those are the ones that would probably be uh, one of the ones that you get uh, very early on. So what we'll do is we're just going to make a we're just going to make one more house um, over here.
All right, so now we have two rooms for uh, for housing. Um, you can see here that this housing is suitable. I've got a chair and a table in this house, and that is going to be for our next uh, for our next NPC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it as far as how to set up your very first house in Terraria, as well as set up housing for your NPCs. If you're enjoying this content and learning anything from it, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.